Hello fellow running mates and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Leaning Boom S Marathon Racer. Before we start this video, I want to let you know that this shoe wasn't sent to me. I bought it from my own money and I have no affiliation with Leaning or AliExpress. And with the disclosures out of the way, let's take a look. No YouTube review is good without a running montage. So let's check out how the shoe performs in the run. welcome back now let's talk about the shoe a bit of a backstory I couldn't find this shoe anywhere I had to import it all the way from China I saw the shoe originally in an Instagram post I found it very interesting and actually the leaning brand is pretty well known for their badminton shoes and gear I hadn't seen their running lineup before so I checked them out found them on Aliexpress all of them five weeks later boom in my hand normally in this part of the video I wanted to go over the specs the specs is pretty scarce about this one I haven't been able to find very much information so this is gonna be a guess the stack height seems to be about the same as the sketches racer elite in the range of maybe 25 and 20 the upper is made of a woven mesh. It's quite thin, very breathable. The lacing system works fine, it's just standard lasers. Is it a gusseted tongue when there's actually no tongue? <laughs> and it features like a plastic guard in the heel counter to make sure that the lock is good. It has a pull tab and it fits very well. This one is true to size in my US size 10. Otherwise the upper has a 3D printed graphic, pretty cool colorway and very visible to fellow runners. Moving along to the midsole. It's extremely lightweight and actually pretty bouncy. Total weight of the shoe is about 154 grams in my US size 10. So this shoe weighs absolutely nothing. The p base foam is king. It's very comfortable and the power return is quite high. This shoe doesn't feature a carbon plate, but instead it features a TPU plate, a technology that Li Ning calls 
spring drive. It isn't a full size plate, the plate is only featured in the middle of the sole. Moving along to the outsole of the shoe, consists of what I think is two, maybe three different types of rubber. We have this yellow rubber, which actually gives a good grip. In the forefoot of the shoe, we have another type of rubber, and it seems like there's some fabric between the rubber. I haven't actually seen that in any shoe before. In the back, there's a good portion of rubber, really helping with that grip on rope, and they have a extra reinforced rubber in the outer side. For durability, I think this will actually hold up pretty well. The biggest challenge would be if the mesh upper can hold up as well as the outsole rubber. That's pretty much it. So how did the shoe perform? I think I have around 25 kilometers in it. Yesterday I did an 11k run and I was quite positively surprised. The energy return felt very good, my running cycle felt very optimal and I did some pretty fast paces. With the weight in mind of the shoe, I think that this shoe really performs at those faster paces but shorter runs. 5k, 10k, I wouldn't take this shoe up for a half marathon or a marathon. I think that the stack height is just too low for that and your legs would get hammered. But otherwise, I'm pretty impressed. It had a very nice grip on road, even though there were some wet surfaces because it had rained a bit. You'll feel a very good ground contact in this shoe because the stack height isn't too high. So for those of you that loves feeling the pavement underfoot, this shoe could be a good choice for you. So where does this shoe sit compared to other Tempo Day shoes? Well, the closest I would compare it to is the Skechers Razor Elite and the Adidas SL20. It feels a bit like a combination, but the Li Ning shoe is absolutely weightless compared to these. The Li Ning shoes weighs in about the same as the Skechers Razor Elite, but it feels faster than that shoe, and it feels more stable than that shoe. So how would I use this shoe? I actually think that this shoe performs very well at those tempo or threshold day runs, and that's where I'd be using it. I wouldn't be taking the shoe out for a longer run above 10, 15 kilometers or about 10 miles. But for those faster tempo 5Ks or 10Ks, I think this shoe performs very well. I got the shoe from AliExpress. I'll be putting the link in the description if you want to check it out. There's no affiliate links here, so it's just for your interest. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out and mean a lot. Thank you and take care.